Hi, welcome to clip 8 of our ship philosophy sequence. We've said that the individual specific field goes through certain processes. Now we can see the individual specific field as the expression and manifestation of the bundles of patterns we call life. And that life is affected through the processes that we have described trauma in the system on hold and frozen state. We then said that we develop a coping configuration that develops a coping style and people then eventually say that is your personality. And in ship we have a different viewpoint on that. Because of that particular coping configuration and the internal energy that is stuck and the fact that the system has the self-normalizing process of moving towards rebalance, we find that within the system a unique sequence of events unfold. If we have energy that is stuck and we have our coping configuration or coping style, the energy that is stuck now does something important. If I have two sides within myself, I have, and I have many of these, I have domineering side, more assertive, and I have a submissive side, or non-assertive side, and one of them is suppressed due to powerlessness. In other words, we have a lot of suppression inside, a lot of energy and also a lot of power that is now stuck in the system. We find that the opposite side becomes more intense. And so we find that the opposite side becoming more intense now moves outside of that individual specific field. It's like an arm coming out of the field and the overexposure of submissiveness means we now become victim. Conversely, the overexposure to the suppression of the other side, the overexposure of my assertiveness can now become abuse. The interesting thing about this, in addition to what we've just mentioned, is that we say, therefore, when something is suppressed, if you do not express, you will explode. And this suppression eventually goes into what we refer to as an intra-translator. An intra-translator is anything intra-inside my system that has a chronic, uncomfortable manifestation. Migraines ulcers, spastic colons, angry outbursts, depression, anxiety, etc. The side that is now pushed out of my individual specific field becomes projection and we refer to that in ship as an intertranslator, interpersonal with my external world. And the intertranslator is thus dependent on the suppression of the intra-translator and vice versa. And we can therefore now say that to maintain balance we need to open up the power that is suppressed in the system so that there will be a spontaneous movement back to balance, which means that the expression into the external world will now also return to balance. If my expression into my external world is submissiveness that now becomes victim and this tentacle goes out of my field, then of course the person on the opposite side that passes me that now has overexposure of assertiveness that becomes abuse because there's not balance, that person will just latch onto that tentacle that I'm pushing out and I will then go into the kind of relationship that would remind me of my victimhood and the disconnection of my normal 
self-assertiveness. And so when there is a spontaneous movement to balance and my system is in balance, I will attract balance because that is what I am projecting into the outside world. The inter and inter intra-translators are manifestations to get my system back into balance. There are other configurations that we need to talk about in the following clip concerning the inter and intra-translators.